good day everyone so for today's video i will going to discuss the um, application platforms so it refers to the underlying technology and environment that support the development deployment and management of software applications so these platforms provide a framework for building running and maintaining applications and they often include tools libraries and services to streamline the development processes so here are some types of application platforms first is mobile applications platforms are also called maps so these platforms provide tools and frameworks for developing mobile applications so they include software development kits and em emulators and app distribution services so the examples are android and ios Next is web application platforms. So it is designed to simplify the development of web-based um, applications. So they often include frameworks, libraries, and random environments for building and running web applications. So the examples are Ruby on Rails, Django, Laravel, and Node.js. Next is cloud platforms. So it offers a range of services and infrastructure to host, deploy, and scale applications. So they include compute resources, storage, databases, and various other services. So the examples are Amazon services, Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. Next is Enterprise Application Platforms. So it provides tools and services for developing and managing large-scale enterprise applications. So they often include integration capabilities, security features, and business processes management tools so the example is sap netweaver oracle fusion middleware next is containerization platforms so these platforms enables the packaging and applications and their dependencies into containers so containers provide a consistent and portable um, environment across different systems and making it easier to deploy and manage applications the examples is docker and kubernetes Next is low-code or no-code platforms. So these platforms allow users to build applications with minimal hand coding using visual interfaces and pre-built components. So they are designed to accelerate the development process, develop especially for those without extensive programming experiences. So the examples is out systems, Mendix, and APN. Next is IoT or Internet of Things platforms, so it provides infrastructure and services necessary for developing and managing IoT applications. So they often include devices management, data analytics, and security features. The examples are AWS IoT, Microsoft Azure IoT, and Google Cloud IoT. Lastly is blockchain platforms. So these platforms provide infrastructure for developing decentralized applications. So the apps and smart app um, contracts. So they often include a blockchain network, consensus mechanism, and tools for building blockchain-based applications. So the examples are Ethereum and Hyperledger Fabric. And these are the logos. And supporting widgets and plot tourism checker. And that's it for today's video. Thank you.